mucha suerte de, de I've been very a, lucky to play at a high level. A un nivel muy alto. I've played with and against the best players and in the biggest stadiums. I visited so many cities and chatted to really important people within the world of football. And I feel very fortunate to have been able to do all of that. Nothing is sweeter than looking back on life without wanting to change a thing, and that could be said about Carlos Marchena's playing career, one of the members of Spain's national team squad, which enjoyed such success in what was the pinnacle of his time in the game. I think winning trophies with your team is fine. Well, it's more than that. It's a prize for your work, the fruits of your work. But being world champions, winning the World Cup for your country, is an achievement which I don't think anybody ever even dreamed of. And as that happened and I was lucky enough to be there, well, that's the pinnacle. Carlos Marchena's heart belongs to Sevilla, the club where he made his first team debut in the Ramon Sanchez Pizjuan. Playing for Sevilla in the Sanchez Pizjuan was amazing. Experiencing it and going out onto the pitch on the day of your debut is something I'll never forget. I wasn't playing for a Sevilla team like the one now. We weren't winning titles. The team was going through a bad patch, but I enjoyed it all and I'm still really proud of having played for Sevilla. But it was Valencia where Marchena spent nine seasons and where he achieved his biggest successes at club level. I was born and grew up at Sevilla, but I really developed into the player I became at Valencia. The club gave me the opportunity, and it was thanks to the club that I got the call-up for the national side. Thanks to Valencia, I won league titles and European titles, and I was lucky enough to be the club captain and represent Valencia. After the South Africa World Cup, Marchena looked for a change, and he went on to spend his last four years as a professional in Villarreal and La Coruña, where he helped Deportivo win promotion back into La Liga. Villarreal showed they wanted me. They'd spent some time wanting to sign me, and the chance came up after the World Cup. It didn't take long to reach an agreement. And that was a good spell in a city that I enjoyed living and playing in. And when I was at La Coruña, I didn't have the pressure of playing for the national side anymore. So it was a different kind of environment. Then I was just focused on the club. And I was old enough to be able to help the younger players, to give them advice. So that was another good spell. And I enjoyed it thoroughly and was glad to be able to get to know people from the north of Spain. Managers are fundamental influences on players. Marchena learned from many of them. But one stands out above the rest and earned his respect and admiration, Luis Aragonés. Myself in particular and Spain in general owe a debt to Luis Aragonés for everything he did for Spanish football. Before him, there was just no way. He took away that inferiority complex Spanish players had and did so much for football in this country. Marchena recently hung up his boots. Now is the time to spend more time with his loved ones. But he's also ready for the challenge of management as a way to transmit and put into practice the knowledge gained from his experience as a player under several top-class coaches. Pensareo. 
I'm going to start preparing for my management license and then we'll see what happens. But I'm always going to be thinking big. I'll be trying to take on board aspects of the job I've seen in all of my coaches. But above all, the idea I've got as to what a manager is, is Luis Aragonés.